Hello, I'm Max Balekde. And I'm George Clark, and welcome to the Useless Hotline. TikTok wasn't working out for us, so we decided to set up our own little business. Oh, we did. The Useless Hotline is a place where we help you with your queries and issues, no matter how weird, embarrassing, or disgusting they are. But it won't always just be us. Some weeks we'll be joined by some little guests and potential employees. Oh, strictly little guests. No big guests allowed. Exactly. Um... And I also want to mention, it's been like five episodes and we've not had a guest. I want you to all know that that was on purpose. Um, it's not like we started a podcast in the Christmas season when everybody's extremely busy and no one has time yeah, to go yeah, on our yeah, podcast. Yeah, we actually just wanted <clears throat> to establish a podcast by ourselves first. And let me tell you, in the new year, we have some fun, exciting plans for guests. In don't fairness, we? It, it was sort of our fault. We did try and plan on getting Santa at the worst time of the we year. We did. For him. I mean, he's never going to be free. Yeah. Um, we couldn't busy. Saint Nick him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Saint Nick, Nicholas. Yeah. Like it. Anyway. Should we get on with our job? <laughs> we we shall get on with our job. Oh. Christmas is over though, though. Christmas is over. So Santa, where are you at, bitch? Yeah, well, well, if you're an audio listener, Max is <laughs> destroying the Christmas decorations right now. Well, are you ready? Do you want to do this one or should I yeah, do this one? Yeah, you do it. <laughs> get it now. <laughs> yeah, get it. you do it. Get it now. Where did that thing go? Oh. Oh. It's little bottoms come off. Bye, Christmas. Oh, yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't that impressive. Christmas is over. Did, do you like Christmas? Did you enjoy Christmas? I had an incredible Christmas. Oh, did you? What did you do? Um, I have been just eating turkey. And oh, what do you like? Pork in... Oh, <laughs> whoa, what? Oh. No, Christmas. Oh. You know, I just, just well, you spend Christmas with your family, don't you? So <coughs> pork in... No, so, no, I'm going to stop you right so there. Porkin's always my New Year's be tradition. My New Year's... Uh, is uh, it tradition? Resolution. resolution, yeah, you go. Mm. My New Year's resolution is going to be... Uh, I was about to say get a new podcast host. <laughs> <laughs> um, for you to... Well, that's not mine, actually. No, it's not. Can you make yours a New Year's resolution Absolutely to not. stop mentioning my dad in no. the last episodes? I, in fact, I mean, I'm doubling down. I'm increasing, especially after the stories you told me before we started filming about what you did at Christmas. Enough. Right, um, also, my oh. New Year's resolution uh, is Well, it's not even... It's stop not interrupting me, Max. People don't like it when you interrupt. Oh, around. shut the fuck up. Everyone's, everyone's having a go at me on TikTok for Right, you need to work on you. enunciation, I think, because you, you really... <coughs> I want you to watch that, what you just said back, and realise you didn't say... You went, everybody's interrupting me. Everybody's having a go at me on TikTok for interrupting you. When, yes, they are. And that's just how a conversation works when it's two people. Think. I just have such valuable things to say. And the people have spoken. I think maybe you should just stop talking altogether. See, if I just... Perhaps a head nod. Sorry, did uh, I what, interrupt? So, yeah. You should let me know when you're finished speaking. Right, well, maybe... Um, what, what does your dad usually do when he's oh, like... shut up, right? No, upstairs? shut up. Okay. Um, um, you just monologue for ages. That is true. So if I just let that happen, it would just be It'd like just an audio book. The thing is, with me, I kind of need someone to interrupt me to know when I should stop speaking because especially in this situation I'm like we're just having a chat about like we're trying to give advice and everything so I'm just going to go until my point runs out and typically yeah. that can be quite a long time What's so if you didn't interject <laughs> oh cheeky sorry <laughs> I'd just keep going if it was, it's and not... I'd just keep going shut up <laughs> <laughs> we're both a bit ill after the festive season. God, we um, went, went, a bit, went a bit too hard. We for did. The it was party. our it was our Micrography and Christmas party. We, it was MVE Christmas party. Oh, sorry, I just rattled. What your they computer. call now? Is it MVE? Move? MVE. Yeah. I got told it was move. <clears throat> I, I, the way I remember it is if you keep your phone on silent. Move. Oh. Um. <laughs> I wish my car host would keep on silent. Anyway, yeah, had, that was quite good. Had a really good time. It was at Soho House. Quite fancy. Soho fancy. So, oh, so ho ho fancy. <laughs> you, you, you quite enjoyed that, and I, I know did. you didn't want to enjoy it. I didn't want to enjoy it at all. Um, and yeah. we, so we went to the next Soho house, and it was so fancy. Have you, have you been to that Soho house before? The I, green, I, straight green. I street? Um, crossed the threshold, not with wife in hand, just oh. on my own, uh, and then left immediately. Oh really? Why? Just tired. Oh, fair enough. I mean, um, you were there. Oh right, I thought you me. meant the no, we, the second one that we went to, yeah, Greek Street. Yeah, I was there with you. Were you? I, was in the, I literally hugged you goodbye. Was I it thought not, you hugged it, me goodbye it? in... Did you get the taxi with me there? Yeah. What the fuck? Okay. Right. It was lovely to see you there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I do not remember that. I thought that you left... Oh, you weren't that drunk. I think I was, George. I mean... <laughs> I think I was. And... Uh, <laughs> 
Yeah. Wow. Okay then. Well, it was really good. It got it turned into like a club afterwards. Did you come to the club bit? Uh, no, upstairs? I left before we went in. Oh, so you didn't even enter the building? No, I went right, in the building, but I was all... just in the foyer. Oh, foy, no. That's what you said. Um, but anyway, yeah, I had a really good time. I was chatting to Diane, Joe Sugg's lovely girlfriend. She's so lovely. She wasn't in the second set of house. No, she was in the first one. Where the hell is these stories aligning then? What's going on I'm here? just talking about my evening. I All loved right. her. I thought she was really nice. <coughs> I didn't realise she was Australian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Max, Max <laughs> Diane's just sat there going, oh, I love your podcast. And then Max goes, my God, are you northern? <laughs> and, she, and she goes, what? <laughs> and I was like, she was so and she was like, And then you go, I thought I heard a bit of a twang. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that twang's Australian. <laughs> Oh God, it was not good, yeah. But bless her, she was so lovely about it. She was like, no, I'm Australian, you dumb folk. She didn't say that. Um, she was like, yeah, a lot of people don't think I'm Australian. Yeah. And I was like, you do, I mean, you don't sound like you're from Norwich, do you? <laughs> well, not oh, Norwich, bless her, but yeah, it was a really Yorkshire. good night. Um, but I'm just a bit ill after it now. Ever since, I've just like, I mean, we're both dying a tiny bit. Yeah. But we're here, we, we show up to work, we don't, we don't quit. We've also just been on a ski trip. Oh my God, we have. <gasps> oh. <laughs> That's probably why we're ill. I mean, realistically. Yeah, we've spent like four days just going up a massive mountain and then back down it. Yeah, I mean, I you cold. do that. But you, you go up and down on your dad. What's the... That I, I don't know. There was literally no like, I don't know, yeah. way to weave that in. No, but I did. decided to do it. Your dad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just said your dad. Because you said there's no way to weave it in, but you just do it. That's absolutely disgusting. I know, weave. That would insinuate that it's like... What are you, what are you like weaving doing? it. How do you, what does weaving like? Like it's like. Can you do a plait, way... like hair plait? Um, I think I can. Just three strands. Well, just... sorry, I don't even need to be here. You're answering your own questions. <laughs> 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 can you do a plait? Yes, Max. I think I can do a, do a plait. Oh yeah, I love doing plaits. <laughs> but yeah, I love <clears throat> plaits. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I love plaits. I don't feel alright again. I've Rise just had a cold plat. and flu. Do tablet. you want a drink? Yes. That's a bad idea, actually, but... Maybe. We have one? I've just had cold and flu tablets, and last time it sent me a bit I'm pretty crazy. sure on the back it says make sure you mix with alcohol. Mi do mix? Yeah, yeah. All right, sounds. Let's have it. Bloody hell, <laughs> watch the monitor. A lot oh, of money God. spent on this bad boy. Yeah, Hand down through generations, this one. Wow. Oh, it's wait, like you so and your granddad. I don't know. Uh, I mean, this is a shit nah, joke to I tried. Me. It's all right. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so we right. went skiing, and it was lovely. It was very intense. Sorry, I've forgotten that. you been locked out of the of the cabinet there for our audio listeners george is struggling to get into the cabinet way no, it's, it's just a lock combination to get in oh right it's what's very the, secure what's what do you the want? combination just tell me what you want max please can i have um vodka with whatever where's the vodka oh this water sorry yeah, yeah. just regular water for me today oh sorry got thank this you I quite like to. But we have that, made um, some dents into this. Oh yeah, we'll have to get some more soon. Goodness me. Um, and some what? Um, top one, please. In fact, hooch. no, actually, with the seltzer, it'd be grim, wouldn't it? Yeah, with some hooch, please. Yeah. What do you mean the seltzer? You weren't looking at the seltzer, but are you weirdo? What? Get the hooch now. Shut up, Christmas bitch. What did I call you in the last episode? I called Christmas elf bitch. That was just rude. <laughs> I know. It was really weird. <coughs> right. Do we have a bottle opener? How have you been opening them? Do you just have you just always had a bottle opener in your pocket? What? Yeah. For our audio listeners, George is getting a bottle opener out of his I pocket. I think you, did, you didn't need to explain that. Have I you always didn't. had a bottle opener in your pocket? <laughs> oh, for our audio listeners, George is a <laughs> bottle opener. Um. Yeah. Wow. Okay. It's not that impressive, is it? It's no. just a keychain. Yeah, it's just a keychain. Oh, lovely. Nice, generous What sort core. of keychains do you have? I have no keychains because I find them so annoying. Why not do I want Not even wanna... a Disney one. No, not an anything one. I don't understand it. Why would I want to carry around useless weight with me? I mean, well, I've gained a lot of useless weight. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Andrew. That was really, that was really rude. <laughs> oh, God. Andrew was literally listening to last week's episode with me yesterday. That's and he cute. was like, God, I get mentioned quite a lot, don't I? I was like, yeah. Yeah, you won't like it now. <laughs> yeah, I know, you useless fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Um, um, bless him. You know, uh, a lot. I've seen a lot of comments saying, does Max still have a boyfriend? Yeah, they think that we with, broke up. Yeah, just f like for me. Yeah. What? what? Also, like, where are we, what, 
What? <laughs> Sorry, Max just turned into a turkey. For the audio listeners. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Max just turned into a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, we went on a ski trip. I really enjoyed it. It was with a lot of our friends. Um, it was absolute mayhem. I think oh, in this total. this just doesn't look like a way to solve any problems. No. Oh, sorry, carry on. Everyone's going to hate me. I just interrupted um, you. Yeah, he was just interrupting me. Thanks. Um, please comment down below every time that George interrupts me. <laughs> and please then leave him hate mail. Max, Do you have a PO box I for people to send my, things? I wasn't finished my sentence. Can you make sure you don't interrupt me next time? Right, please? no. I'm going to continue. Go on, finish whatever shit sentence you're about to say, though. <laughs> you know, no, I, I actually did finish. Um, oh. Gee, wow. No, Max, shut up. What, um, like your dad did inside you? No, 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 Max. Oh. That's absolutely I. Revolting. Oh, my God, there's this clip of me and Grace doing a pregnancy test in the club. Didn't I show it to you? Yeah. And what I say is so disgusting. I had to edit it out. Yes, yeah, absolutely revolting. So gross. Um, but also, did you know that if you're a man and you do a pregnancy test and it comes up positive, that means you've got testicular cancer. Is that like an effective way of doing it? I mean, that's what I got told. I was like laughing and joking like, oh, because in the secret Santa, I got a pregnancy test and Grace had bought it. So I was like, oh, let's do it. And then she was like, oh, that'd be a funny idea for a video or record it. So I was like, all right, fine. And then she was like, oh, you do know though that if it comes up as positive for you, then that's a sign that you've got testicular cancer. And you believed that coming out of Grace's mouth. I mean, yeah, to be fair, that's true. But I was very worried. I was like, imagine how like bad this video can end up. Either way, to be honest, imagine yeah. if Grace found out she was pregnant. Imagine if I found out I had cancer. How do you, how do you know it's cancer, not you being pregnant? Well, yeah, exactly. I did mention that. Um, me and Andrew have been trying for a couple months now, and for some reason it's not working. That's, oh, that's sad. Yeah. That is upsetting. Um, I did. I think I had a phantom pregnancy though. Phantom one. Yes, yeah, so it's what, when you, you have sex with a ghost, ghost. Pokemon. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow. Um, like one of our listeners did last week. God yeah. bless them. <coughs> um, but yeah, no, it's when you convince yourself that you're pregnant and your body starts to mimic the symptoms. I mean, I'd be. I don't know how you've managed to convince yourself that you're pregnant. You don't want to know what I do at night. You don't know. <laughs> this is gross, by the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. God, we're, that was we're such messes. Oh, I know. You can tell kind of that we're not really with it today. <laughs> um, but anyway, shall we get into our job? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's Wait, any, get... Anything else about the ski trip? It was really fun. We we were. I say we were the best skiers, me and you. You'd probably say that you were. I think I'm the only one that didn't fall the whole time. The entire time you yeah, fell but a few you, times. You know, if you, uh, the way I like to look at it is you're never going to get a bowling ball down the gutter if you stay in your lane. That's what your dad said. Well, the he how is that even like a way that you've managed to... Max is just upset that he's a little bitch when he goes skiing. And George is just upset that he's his dad's little bitch when he goes home for Christmas. Well, how and is everything other? about my dad? I don't know, but it's quite fun now, It's just it? not, though, at all. Was the mistletoe above your bed when you got in? I was staying in a room with you. Maybe I'm your dad. Oh <laughs> my god That's absolutely just no Enough of this Max I want someone to make a compilation of every time I brought up George's dad It's very common It's getting increasingly common yeah, I think so it's been about six times so far and we're only about it's ten just, minutes It's in. just your fail safe If you can't think of anything you just mention my dad It's so easy it, com it comes up so often No but the thing no, but there's, I, there's, there's easy jokes to make But I don't yeah. want to make them Because they're about me and my dad You don't have to make them I'll make them Compromise. Oh well, anyway. we'll make a compromise. Yeah, I'll just I'll just sit here in silence while you bombard me with just false accusations about me and my father. Absolutely. Absolutely disgusting. Let's finally get on with this yeah, job, okay shall we? Then. Have you got an email that's just come in? Yes. Bloody wow. Hell, there we go. It's come through already. That's got yes. quick. <laughs> what a coincidence, eh? Jesus Christ. I love it. For our audio listeners, the printer is now printed. You don't need to do this every time. It's but just I'm going to. that needs to happen. I love our audio <clears> listeners. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. That splaffed out at me. Ugh. Just like. No, enough. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> hey, Max and George. Basically, I'm in high school and there's this girl who was one of my closest friends at the start of the year. Also, she dated my best friend. Anyways, one day she found out about my TikTok account that has 47.7K followers, which she thinks classes me as famous, which it obviously doesn't. Hey, 
it's all relative, darling. Uh, all right. Don't be. I see what she's doing. She's fishing for compliments. Yeah, here. she is. Do you know what? Actually, piss off then. Anyway, which is, isn't anything, is it, guys? Forty-seven point seven. Yeah, no, oh, nothing. Liar. And she's now all over me. Oh, I don't know if she's just using me somehow to have a shout out or something. But now she's always hugging me and so excited to see me. What should I do? Should I confront her or should I just leave it? Love you guys, and I'm always watching your podcast. Oh, that's cute. Right, so when this person said they were one of their closest friends, I think that the man wasn't one of their closest friends and he's now acting like one of their closest friends. Yeah. And I think that because it says wasn't and I read it wrong. So Sorry, you just... How, how have you managed that? Let's just that? carry on. Um, so, <clears throat> what... You've got you a have many fame people? hungry little bitch Ooh. chasing up your coattails. Oh, do you have you experienced many things wear like a, that? Wear a vest. Then they can't grab your coattails. That's my advice. What is a coattail? Is it the back of a coat? You know, um, like when it has that slick kind of. Yeah. Ah. Anyway, (laughs) (laughs) have you experienced this? Um, What, people randomly wanting to form some sort of relationship with you? or? Um, Well, yeah, one of them tried to make a podcast with me. Oh, really? How did that go? Yeah, but he had more followers, so I, I said, hit yeah. number one. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. You're fucking welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you, though? <laughs> um, um, I don't think so, to be honest. But I, I, I'm I'm, just too naive to tell. If someone's being nice to me, I'm just like, oh, that's nice of them. No, but are there many people like that maybe you were friends with in school or that you weren't even that close to in school that have now... I've had people... I've had multiple people message me. Sorry. Woo! Big s- hey, loads. big spender. No, Someone's people... got multiple people mes- messaging up. them. People that I used to not even really be that close to. Maybe I did, but I've not spoken to in like over six, seven years. Yeah. Randomly message. Hey, we should go for drinks sometime. Oh my oh. God. I just watched this video. I can't believe it. Like, oh, you've just done this. That's amazing. It's like my favorite whatever. Like, oh, maybe what next time you're back home and like, oh, if you're at, like all the time. Yeah, I mean, I can understand. I, like, I've had people message and be like, oh, so proud of you. Oh yeah, but all that's stuff different. Like that. I think but that's... I, haven't, I don't think I've had people be like, Let's, what does that say about me actually? I think they, people just don't want to spend time with you. They just want to watch my father. No, still, yeah. still not enough for me to be able no. to want to put up with you in person. Yeah. No, I've had but, people, yeah, so proud of you and everything. But yeah, then... That's nice. That's nice. And it's not like they're trying to... Whereas if there's people like oh by the way my auntie has this business like could you just share it or like i'm starting this business can you be in this video like i think people honestly underestimate sometimes underestimate our rates literally (laughs) i mean come on now darling (laughs) email the management um no but i think people see it as oh they've got a lot of followers and i used to them oh yeah they'll do it which that's not how it works like if somebody's like oh let me my, my my auntie makes rugs can you please like promote it how the hell am i gonna promote a rug for your auntie yeah. oh can you make can you do this little favor for me guys just buy a rugs from a distant friend's auntie literally like, i've what? been asked to do full-on <clears throat> like campaigns by people that i don't know for free like oh i've started this would you mind like coming to this place and just filming this and stuff like it'd be really helpful to use your following yeah of course it fucking would but at the end of the- no but like that's no, no, that is madness i don't know of course if it was like one of my best friends and they decided to start a business I would share it non-stop and like do whatever. But yeah. for someone who I don't know, no, get to fuck. Get that out my throat. Oh, get it out my face. Get, get it out, out my throat. throat. Ooh. Get that out my throat. Ooh. I'll break that camera. Have you seen that video? No, I haven't. Oh my God, I need to show it you because I'm referencing and you're not getting. But I'll show it you in the break. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so I guess advice. Don't bloody fall for it, love. You're being used. But yeah. also, are you though? Because realistically, like, don't, what, what, about, what are you about to say? But when I, I remember when I got forty-seven thousand, not no, not but when I got it, fifty, Max? when I had like fifty thousand. Oh, sorry, trumped by Max Belegdi. <laughs> so when I had forty-seven point seven k followers. When I had forty-seven point eight k followers, I remember it being. <laughs> no, but I don't. I don't remember thinking like, whoa, like my life's like gonna change. But I guess that was in lockdown, so you didn't. Whereas yeah. now, I imagine if you were like in high school if i was in high school and i had that many i'd probably people be would like, know as well because yeah people would know and all it takes is one person to see a video and they go oh do you see do you see Je- jessica's got like a million views on this yeah. one video on tiktok i remember when my little sister was in like year eight or year seven and when it was locked down she made this video where she made a secret like den under the stairs literally just put pillows in this shit little cupboard that's under the stairs whoa and it's it got... like a den shit little cupboard that's a Prime Belegdian Den. Nope. Shit little cupboard. 
Um, but it got like fifty, not fifty million views, like ten million views, and it's more views than I've ever had. Yeah, well there you That's go. That's disgusting. Maybe you should message my sister for some tips. Um, you message cool. your dad about his tip. Mm. Also, that joke was about moving your on. That was a joke about no, no, no. Moving on. Sister. Moving on. What? Your little moving sister. On. Shut up. You always message your little Shh. sister. No. About giving her some tips. No. That's absolutely disgusting. No. Oh, Max wants, like, Max wants me to keep it in the family. Bless him. Well, you've been doing it for generations. Do you think maybe you have a bit of an inbred DNA in you? Well, no. But a lot of people do, and you sound more royal family-ish than I do. Just so maybe just because somewhere I wasn't dragged up, Max doesn't mean <laughs> I, it doesn't mean I'm inbred. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. Do you have any relationship towards yeah. the royal family? <laughs> there's, there's, look. I know, I know you, been, you're related to I the royal family. I know I've been family. single, but I've, not, I've, I've got a relationship. No, do you have relation to um, the royal family in any way? Have you ever looked it up? No, but I... I no, you I'm give not. me that sort of... That sort of like... That sort of like... What? Just say it this time. sort of like RAF. <laughs> oh, the Royal Air Force? Yeah, RAF, like royal family, like, oh... Did you, did uh, did you yes, think RAF stood for royal something family? No. No, you did, didn't you? No. <laughs> No, Max thought the Royal Just Air don't Force assume. stood for Royal Something Family. <laughs> don't ever assume. That's that's really mean, actually. And if anything, you're just proving your point further. Um, well, anyway, you give me Navy vibes. I give you Navy vibes. What? Gay? <laughs> Is that gay? Isn't that gay? Like, in yeah. the Navy. Yeah. Yeah, because they all shag each other. I mean, I don't know if they do, but no, possibly. My, mate, my mate's in the Navy. Oh, and he shags men all no. the time. Oh. I think he's got a girlfriend now. Oh, a girlfriend. Yeah. With a winky. And who identifies as a man. No, just a girl. Anyway, um, <laughs> what advice do we have? Yeah, I mean, maybe don't be too judgmental. Perhaps they have just taken a liking to you. Um, but also, if you're in school and this is happening, it could be likely that they are trying to use you in somewhere. So maybe just yeah. be a bit wary. But don't cut someone off just because you think you're too famous and that they mustn't be actually nice. They must just be using you. You like, should take that advice, actually. Yeah, I know. I've caught everybody off out of my life because I was like, do you yeah. know what? At this point, they obviously just... It's basically like when Justin Bieber hit his prime, mm. that's about... <clears throat> That's about where I am. Yeah, Max isn't even going home for Christmas because no, he just, it's he, obvious my mum's a clout chaser. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't call his call him family. Calls him clout chaser. My mum just nonstop. She's like, "Good luck with the podcast today." I'm like, "Oh, she clearly wants to be a guest." Oh, yeah, clearly wants to mention <laughs> exactly. Oh, now um, she's got it. Oh god, brilliant. Oh, I hate mum underscore Belegdi. I hope you're bloody happy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, anyway, um, but yeah, I guess that's my advice. Any closing words from you, George Clark? Agree. Lovely. Oh, the phone. <laughs> The phone's ringing. Wow. Oh, oh. Such good timing. Bloody <coughs> <coughs> hell. Oh, oh, so I hope it's the, hope it's the hospital sick. ringing. Oh, what if we both have chlamydia of the throat? Um, well, it makes sense what we were up to. Have you ever had an STD? Be honest. No. No? No. Me neither. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ringy ding ding. <laughs> it's your go. What do you mean it's my phone? Oh shit, I forgot we have to do that. I mean, <laughs> what? I've got to do the phone. Sorry. <laughs> I was waiting for it to play. I mean, what? Max, Silly me. I would like your opinion on this. This isn't a dilemma from me. This is, I just want to say it, put it out there. Okay. I definitely know for a fact that George could get a girlfriend. If you really wanted to, George, oh. you could get a girlfriend. Oh. So why do you keep complaining about it? <laughs> why? I've seen your comment sections full of thirsty women, MILFs, oh. children, if you were open to that, which, which hopefully you not. Are. I'm not. Anyone. Right. So, I think you're scared oh. of women, personally. <laughs> or I love accusation. Gay. But you need to stop complaining about being single <laughs> because you are not helping yourself. <laughs> Okay, so um, well, yeah, we always get told off. So we've had someone call in. There. How the hell did that um, make it through the? I don't know. The it's filtration like, system that I, we've got going on. Yeah, that's who the hell would have let that through? I don't know who would have um, possibly asked for that to be put in this episode. Um, but yeah, do you have any comment on that? Because there's a lot what, what, of people. What part do I address? There was so much to unpack. I mean, there. she accused you of number one possibly being into children. I don't think that's true. No. Good. That one's checked. I was about out. to say don't try before you, but that's a rubbish joke to me. Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah. No. Uh, no, I'm not into kids. Um, and they also said that you might be homosexual. Um, I mean, we've done it. You, we've tried. You tried. 
We tried, and I can I can vouch that it didn't get fully hard. <laughs> Despite my Which I was like, Max, efforts. I'm trying my best. He's like, yeah. you're just not doing it for me, George. I even gained a bit of weight just so it looked like I had somewhat of cleavage. And, and he said, big stubble's beehives. not doing it. He said, it's, it's your chest is hairy. Yeah. And I said, I can't. I can't work around that in this moment. Um, so, I mean, that's also off the list, yeah. I guess. So, why do you think that you don't have... Or do you just not have time? <clears throat> is that it? Just I such don't a busy man. Time for these thirsty hoes. Oh. No, I... <laughs> I hate that so much. Okay. I, um, why don't I have a girlfriend? Oh, just no girls like me, man. Oh. I'm not good enough for anyone. Ew. Gross. No, I... Um, I don't know. I feel like... I just... You know when you know. Yeah, and maybe you just and don't know. And from past experiences, I've... Not known. Felt a feeling that oh. I've not felt since. Oh. So I've. So I've, oh, that's so quite think, emotional. So I think it's a. It's it's silly to uh, lead People either party on. along. Either with, party? Do you often like engage lead in lead myself? No, lead myself along or them. Oh, in okay. Thinking, sorry, what are you talking about? But yeah, but you you spoke about as if you've only been dating for the purposes of being in a throuple. A throuple? Yeah. That's oh no! Person the two parties in the relationship being yourself and uh, the man slash right. child you're with. No, the yeah. uh, woman mean, that you're with. Yeah, um, man slash child. <laughs> <laughs> God, I didn't even have to say anything. Then he brought it to that level. Um, um, th- I mean, that makes sense. So what you're saying is you aren't exactly feeling it. And also, I mean, I don't know if I met Andrew. I mean, I love my boyfriend. Don't get me wrong. So what a way to start a conversation. No, I do. Start a topic. But like, if I met him six months later when <clears throat> everything was going mental for me, I might not have been in the headspace to like have like chilled date time yeah. and properly get to know someone. Yeah. Like you're so busy at the minute with busy not even boy. you know work. We've just started this podcast. Not to mention everything that you get up to with your dad. Oh so, my god! Honestly, um, this is a, so, a whole problem. So this has to stop. So no, we're, um, we're stopping this here. So, this is an intervention, right? You need to. So um, you need to stop. It's obvious. Say something about that my dad. Maybe you just don't have that mental capacity right now. So hopefully, when things slow down, maybe in the new year, um, you could. But again, why do? <laughs> yeah so there we go mention my dad again mate and i'll force you to burp whoa whoa so we'll call the police this point <laughs> is crazy um no but like maybe you just don't have it yet and also like you don't have to be in a relationship i mm. think that people are constantly like why isn't george in a relationship oh blah, 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 blah. like you don't need to be one no. in one i'm i'm happy enough as i am right yeah. now um, Good for you. And we got the podcast. Mm. Got the TikToks. Got the brand deals. Yeah. Got the YouTube. Got the I'm, YouTube. Po- I'm going to stop you posting weekly on. Yeah. I haven't been posting weekly on there. Um, I might stop YouTube soon. You want to stop YouTube? No, I don't want to say that. Because, but I'm also just like I'm not really enjoying it at the minute. I think because I'm so busy what in this Christmas videos season. Videos? Would you like to do? I want to do. I want to do more like reaction videos, but do I need that, to like then? buy the whole setup. I need to do everything. Right, I think doom, sing doom, doom. I've been so busy. Yeah. this Christmas season that I think in the new year I'm gonna buy equipment for everything get it all sorted because it's been very much like I've been gasping for breath like with so much of your dad oh my god Max I didn't even have know. time to make a joke about anything because you just immediately t- bring back to my dad <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that right I'll try and stop at least for the next 10 minutes I won't do it right, um, is, there, is there a dad joke following after that maybe there could have been but I didn't see. Well done. Um, but I've just been so busy and feeling like an insane person that um, I think I've just not even been able to like sit down and enjoy doing a YouTube video in a while. Yeah. But I'm going to do it again. I'm going in the new year. I'm going to go hard. Bloody hell! Like Lucky nothing. Andrew. Like no relative that any of us have. Nothing at all. Um, and yeah, I'm going to really commit myself to it. So follow me, follow, subscribe to me. So you're just plugging your own YouTube. Yeah, mid- I am. Mid podcast. You just did it. What the hell are you talking about? I didn't say go follow me. I just said. Yeah, you did. I just you said, said gonna... subscribe. You've literally got, it says subscribe on your t-shirt. It li- Notre Dame. That obviously means subscribe. Notre in, Dame. In French. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's our advice for that one. What was the question? 
Feel it wasn't even. They didn't even ask for advice. They just wanted to give you. Oh yeah, they were just slating me. They're just slating you. Don't call into our podcast. Stop and... complaining. Yeah. Stop complaining about being single. Exactly. Right. Okay. Wait. I've just well, got I've, an email. We haven't had one come through saying, "Oh, Max, stop liking Disney." Yeah, it's never going to happen. Stop wearing a hat. I, I'm sorry that people enjoy me, <sighs> and everyone hates you. Sorry I've about that. After that, I've got nothing left. <laughs> What'd you do if I came into came into work and I said, Shh. "Max, I've got a girlfriend." I'd be very shocked and upset, and then I'd ask to be involved in some way. Let me get a piece of your girlfriend. Ooh. That is the last thing I'd expect you to say. Yeah, to be right, honest. Thank you. Let's, let's I don't shut think you I would up. say that, yeah. Right. <coughs> <coughs> Hi, George and Max! Oh. Sorry, it had an exclamation mark after Oh, it. my God. I have an issue, and I don't know what to do. I've been with my boyfriend for nearly... For nearly... I've been with my boyfriend... I've been with my boyfriend for nearly a year now and I've met his parents, but his dad has always given me smirks and he always asks to speak with me in private. Oh. Stop. And every time he goes in for a kiss... What? And every time, he goes in, every time he goes in for a kiss or tries to make a move on me and I don't know what to do. I thought he was leading up like... And every time he goes in for a kiss, yeah. something happens as yeah. opposed to... Like, okay. Please help. Do I tell him to stop or do I tell my boyfriend or what? But I'm scared my boyfriend will end it with me. You're scared your boyfriend will end it with you if you tell him his dad's coming on to you. Yeah. What? Well, I mean... Yeah, you know, I've got to get advice, a girlfriend that likes it. What advice do you have? Because, I mean, your dad Max, does... Max, no, stopping you right there. Well, your dad does. The difference is... Shibba, 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 you don't have a girlfriend for your dad to, to do this to, so he just does it to you. But what have you done? Have you, like, contacted your mum? Have you contacted, contacted your sister? Contacted her? Like, she's in prison? Yeah, well, no. I mean, is she out now, then? Uh, no, she's still very much oh, straight. Oh, she's still in. Oh, God. Um, <coughs> she'll be out soon. Don't worry. She will. Um, but I think... Anyway, back to seriousness. I think advice... What the fuck is going on? Your boyfriend's dad trying to get with you and you've not told anybody and we are the first people that yeah. you're coming to... Ad- but surely, if he's trying to go in for a kiss, surely, surely there's some onlookers that are going, hmm... But what do they mean by coming in for a kiss? Is it a kiss on the cheek? Like, Either, either way... Is he Italian? I don't. Uh, we've not had a like sort of T's and C's on the on the bottom of this. Yeah. But either way, say if your your mother or your father mm-hmm. went in for a little kiss of Andrew as he oh. came in the house. I wouldn't. I'd I'd say that's weird. Unless yeah. unless they've done that their whole life. Like I have a relative who likes to give you a kiss on the lips. Oh, that's relatively weird. It is. Hey. And <coughs> I'm. I don't think that they have any weird intentions at all. But no. to like people of my generation, I don't really want to kiss you on the lips. No, you know what I mean? yeah, unless because unless we're getting down to it, which I'm never going to do with this person. What your relative? Yeah, no, of, of course, mm. yeah, because that would be weird. Yeah, it would. Um, no, but apparently, people that is a thing that people do. Like some relatives just do kiss you on the lips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, I'll be, I'll, if that's one of my like aunties or sort of nans or something came in for a kiss on the lips, I'd say, excuse me. I'd say. With tongue or without, what's happening? That, Don't lead me on. That wasn't where, how I was going to take it. Oh, uh, what not were you going to say? That's what I was, was going to take it. I'd take oh. the, the sentence I was going with. Ah. Um, no, I I wouldn't be comfortable kissing no. a woman. No, me neither. I, I wouldn't be com- comfortable kissing a relative. No, unless a man. On the cheek, maybe. Yeah, ass cheek. Mm, maybe not the ass cheek. Just like in, in the... <laughs> in the... <laughs> But yeah, I think in conclusion, don't allow this to happen. <laughs> Tell somebody, and maybe call the police. I don't know. Call I, the police. Just, I think that's a little bit excessive I mean, for somebody wanting to kiss you. If you want to make you. a statement, call the popo. I don't think calling the popo is how you make a statement. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not how you make mm, a statement. Fair enough then. Maybe it's just very, tell your boyfriend. It's very dramatic. Yeah. yeah. Give your boyfriend a bell. Yeah. Uh, in terms of ringing oh. him, don't give him a oh. bell <laughs> unless you are gay. Unless of you are. That darling. wasn't said here. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, I don't think so. Anyway. No. Um, but no, I'd say. What would I say? Um, <laughs> oh, don't give a fuck. To be honest, love. <laughs> Honestly. Don't give a shit. Don't really care. No, I'd <laughs> I'd say um, just. Offer one, maybe oh. fully go for it, and if he goes, oh, yeah, then you go, yeah, that's right, yeah, weird, isn't it, mate? Say so when he goes in for a kiss, you go for shove his ass, head into grab. your crotch. Ooh, maybe yours a bit more, 
Mine was a bit. How like, how have we got to a point where I'm offering up an ass grab and we're like, yeah, that's probably a better idea. Yeah, I mean, I don't think an ass grab is ever a bad idea. I think maybe it is a lot of the time. Take me out to dinner, bing bong. Yeah, that don't do that. No, no. Um, no. We'll just say, don't kiss him. Yeah, or if you do, maybe ask the son if he's into it. Would you be into someone getting with your dad that you're with? Not at all. What situation would that be a thing that people would like to Would you get with your dad? <laughs> okay, that's just... Max, this just needs to stop because it's just... It, it's just not even funny. <laughs> it's the way that it seems like every time you don't see it coming. I, I see it coming every single time. Oh, I bet you fucking do, darling. That every is, Christmas, oh. every birthday, every Halloween, every Easter... Right, should we <laughs> are we done with that one then, are we? <laughs> oh, that was great. Yeah, we're done with that one. I think I can hear a phone ringing. Really? Next. Oh my god, yeah. so can I. Right I really love that hole. tone. Um, very nice. Do you want to oh, say yeah. you forgot that time? <laughs> there we go. That there was good. Go. Delightful. Hello, Max and George. Me and my boyfriend have a bit of a problem. Oh. We've been together three years, and last year I realised that I was bi. So oh. since then we have been experimenting with girls, if you oh. know what I mean. Um, I do. Um, one of the girls was my, one of my best friends, oh. which that is not the problem. However, she got really drunk when she was out with my mum, and she ended up telling her stuff, but I don't actually know what she told her because my mum hasn't full on said oh. however i now feel really awkward around my mum because i don't know what she knows and yeah. she hasn't mentioned it since please help oh my god right okay so this is a lot to unpack yeah so they've been together for Just three like years when I undo your belt <laughs> yeah you're right i don't know i've said that massive cock over here darling I'm talking more the caboose oh what is the caboose ass oh that too double cheek um up. so they've been in a relationship for three years and now they've discovered their bisexuality and now they want to experiment with girls but they obviously still love their boyfriend so they're having threesomes how would you feel if you were in a relationship with someone and they said i want to expand our sex life and i want to have threesomes would that make you anxious or would you be okay with it i feel like i if i was in a relationship with them i'd be like oh am i not enough yeah but also it's like is this little the, what that. they're saying to you is especially in this case she's just discovered that she's bi so it's not like you're not enough i mean yeah, like you, bi I mean, hello i'm here <laughs> true but i mean technically it is like you're not enough really isn't it because it's yeah. like you physically can't deliver a vagina say to if them. you were uh, if you were bisexual before entering the relationship mm. well you you came out as bisexual before entering the relationship yeah. then you wouldn't be like oh but i still want to try some girls out if you yeah if you you'd be like so, oh i've cho i'd made this choice yeah. i'm gonna go down so this if route. it happens midway through that's more difficult to come to terms with really, then, isn't it? it's obvious you she still, still loves her boyfriend would it, would it be like oh i still but do you need to explore your bisexuality if or is, does that mean does that mean that your boyfriend isn't enough or isn't like, yeah i mean it's difficult i mean that's more for them to come to terms with yeah We've, that's, they've, that's, ob they've, they've obviously come to terms with it she's more worried that her mum knows that she's been licking <clears throat> some puffs Letting some puffs. I meant to say puss. Yeah, puffs. Maybe vagina, vaginas. I don't think you're allowed to call them puffs. Um, that was my nickname in my whole life. Oh, you poor thing. Yeah, you Hello. poor thing. Anyway. Anyway, um, <laughs> I think <coughs> that, I mean, it's never nice to think that your mum knows that you're shagging about. Have you ever been like heard or walked in on by a parent? No. No, but you've never really had a partner, have you? Um, I thought you were going to go for the, well, they're already in the room. <laughs> oh, my God, that would have been good. I'm so yeah. glad that you made that joke instead. Thank you. Um, editor, Alex, um, no, <laughs> just met, just edit it so it sounds like I said that. Um, How the hell is he going to manage that? That's, that's a hell know. of an editorial I note. thought that you were going to say they were already in the room. <laughs> Shut up right anyway, now. Um, so, maybe... The course of action is to confront your mum and go, listen, mum, I might have been engaging in threesomes with my boyfriend. That's none of your business. I don't know if she's told you about it, but don't ever bring it up. 
What is not heard can't be thought Maybe of. Maybe say what exactly has my friend told you? But then you don't want to. You don't want to hear your mum say, "Oh, she told me that you rubbed each other's fannies against each other and that you went down on each other." I don't think they'd go into that much detail with it. Well, you just said what exactly did my friend tell you? Yeah, and it might just be oh that you've been seeing someone alongside Jiminy Cricket or whatever your boyfriend's name is. It could be right? Jiminy Cricket, to be fair. As opposed to you That'd going be a really big coincidence. Right. Me and my boyfriend have been exploring other relationships and we've been rubby dub dubbing up all up on each other. I don't like how you <coughs> tried to do my <coughs> accent then and it was actually very offensive. Didn't enjoy that. Northern community, I think cancelled. Let's get him. Uh, Northern um, community don't have the means to cancel anyone. Wow. <laughs> Just you wait, darling. <laughs> Just you wait. You, have you ever heard of Liverpudlians? Um, they will twat you. Yeah, yeah see? cancelled cancel anyway um i know somebody we both know somebody actually we both do who, know somebody we do yeah, just, who it not just had, us two. we know somebody who allowed a third party into the relationship and afterwards it ruined it and i think maybe that had more to do with the fact that they were same gendered relationship yeah i i, I think perhaps um it's if you're trying to spice up your life by adding another person in as opposed to just like a little like bit a, of like friskiness. a ball gag and chains cheeky and perhaps drowning drowning isn't that a thing that if you're about to die then you have the best orgasm of your life i don't imagine you'd be enjoying the situation there's people that like i don't know if this is too much for like youtube and everything but there's people that like hang their neck and like wank off because there's that moment where if you're about to suffocate and you cut, and then it apparently feels amazing, and then they like loosen the whatever. That sounds heavily troubling. I, I don't. think it's real <clears> though. <throat> it might be real, but I, I wouldn't advise it. No, I definitely not advise. This it. isn't a wiki how people have died have by like doing orgasm. it. This is actually something not to do. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, um, we're not kink shaming, but I mean, if your kink is death, maybe you need to be shamed. Do you know what I mean? We're not, we're not necessarily shaming. We're just medically advising. Yeah, as the two PhD isn't students it that, that army we are. hammer? Oh my god, what? do you know that Army Hammer guy who? who was into cannibalism? What? Have you heard of Army Hammer? What? How have you not heard? Army Hammer was like a really famous actor. And he's not that famous. No, 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 he actually is. Two I can't remember what he's in, in though. He is. I can't remember what he was in, but he is very famous. And it recently got Stop found out. Stop calling a guy out. very famous if we don't know who he is. He's really famous. Anyway, it recently got found out like a year ago that... Oh, Stop. That he was into like cannibalism sexually, and a lot of his ex girlfriends came out saying that like he would cut them or like bite them really hard to the point where they would bleed. And then one of them specifically came out saying that he asked her to get her rib removed what? so that he could cook it and eat it. That's and a then, hell of a, and that's... how crazy! And now he's like blacklisted from everything. Uh, he's like, he's not what, Frankie not... Benny's. Yeah, he's not allowed in. Um, they actually put out, Frankie and Benny's put out an official statement. It's not bring your own ribs. No, um, yeah. an army hammer, you're not allowed in. Mm. And now he apparently lives in like a complete random island somewhere and works in a hotel. Like oh. somebody spotted him recently. I got told about it. But how mental is that, that there's like things out there like that and they oh, just yeah, get is... exposed randomly? How did we get onto this? What was the question? Uh, something about... Oh, to uh, inviting your friend into your relationship. Yes. Okay then. So the advice. So that our give. advice is <laughs> to get him to offer up a rib. Yeah. Cook it up, and you can become blood Ribs brothers. Ribs for your pleasure. Um, uh. Yeah, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Maybe then. Yeah. Say to your mom, right? I don't know what you've been told. If you don't even want it to know about it, just say it's not true. She was really drunk. I mean, what is a white lie? What is a black lie? Even a dark. What are they called? Is it white and black lie? Um, or just like I think, a strong I think the lie? Scale goes fib. White lie, lie, um, extreme lie, XXX lie. Oh, um, there's a club. Oh my god, there's a club in Lion London that bar. was called XXL. What? There was a club in London that was called XXL. I don't know if it's still open. And me <sighs> and my ex boyfriend went to it thinking that it was like a gay dance club and right. it had a dark room. Do you know what a dark room is? Um, a room without the lights on. Oh my god, no. Yeah, well, that's similar Photograph to what we thought. room. Were you... When I tell you, so we you, went into you, this club oh, okay. and 
to get in, it cost like 25 quid. And we were like, what the hell? And it was purely because one night we were like, oh, shall we like Google if there's any more clubs other than Heaven? Because we used to go to Heaven all the time. Yeah. Wait, it was called XXL? XXL. Do I have a weight limit? What was, why was it called XXL? I mean, imagine for a second why it could possibly be called XXL if Willies. it's a gay club. There you go. Big willies. So we are queuing up. Why the hell are you in? Well, exactly. Um, <laughs> Is it like a... Um, a roller coaster ride where you have to yeah you have to measure before you go in yeah, yeah. Um, but it cost 25 quid rides. it cost 25 quid to go in and I was like oh my god that's a bit weird in itself but whatever there was loads of people queued up all men which should have been a bit of a warning sign and then you had to sign a waiver like physically sign a waiver before you went in with a yeah. pen and everything went in and everyone was topless every single person was topless right Big, like, muscly guys, little, like, skinny guy, every th- sort of variety of man, here I am, um, was there, topless, and I was like, oh, my God. My ex-boyfriend had a really good body, so he was like, fine. I was a bit mushy, like, on that side. A bit mushy? I had a better body than I have now, but I still never really felt confident just, like, being topless around loads of people. Yeah. But I had to do it. People were coming up to me like, why haven't you got your top off? Like, I was the weirdo for not having my top off. Oh. So then I took it off. And to be fair, there was, like, great dance music. I was loving it. We were getting groped everywhere that we went. So I was like, oh, that's a bit better. of a warning flag. Oh. Like, what is going on? Didn't like that bit. No. And um, then it said dark room. And we were like, what is this? And loads of people were walking into it. It was like a globe sign that said, and nobody could room. find the way out. Well, <laughs> just you wait. So I'm like, what does that even mean? Does it mean like heavy metal music? Like dark? I, I, we literally. What, emo did... room is the way yeah, you thought it was. Yeah, genuinely. Going. That's what we yeah. were. Th- we were sat there like, what? So we walk into it and it's literally pitch black. And you're like, what the hell? And you started to hear less and less music. And he was like, what the hell? And do you know, like, if you are in a dark room and then suddenly your eyes start to adjust to, like, being in darkness, it gradually started to do that as we were, like, walking through. We were holding hands and there was this, like, fence. And I remember, like, we were holding that because we were like, we can't see, like, a skirmish. And then once we'd, like, got in, we were like, oh, you can, like, hear people now. Like, what is this? Yeah. And then our eyes started, uh, slowly started to adjust and we were like, oh, my God. And all that you could hear was... We were in the middle of about 50 to 100 people all shagging each other. Oh, wow. Like, all around us. And we were literally like, what the hell is going on? Like, oh, but I bet we, you wish you didn't eat your carrots that day. Yeah, I know. That, is, wow. that would have helped a lot. Um, but I was in such shock. And it was a one-way system. So you couldn't go back. You had to go through everything. So we had to go through oh, all these hell. people. There's a whole different story of we went on a bear hunt. Yeah, well. We had to go that, through it. <laughs> but genuinely, yeah. And it was <laughs> such a shock. We were both like, oh my God. Bear in mind, he was like five years older than me. So the fact that he didn't know that, I was like 19. I didn't have a clue. Yeah. And I was in such shock. And we just went all the way out. And then I think we left shortly after. And then we broke up a week later oh. because he wanted, quite similar to this, he wanted to go and like engage in stuff with people. And I was like, no, I don't want to so do that. a week after accidentally walking into a room of loads of people shagging, he yeah. goes, Max, I think we should invite somebody else in. That wasn't no, an accident. No, on the that night. dark room wasn't an on accident. On the night, he said like, I want to, like, we should just do something. And I was like, no. And then a week later, we broke up. So it's quite similar to this situation. Wow. But yeah, um, mental. So that kind of applies here. If you're not comfortable with it, maybe don't do that. Maybe don't do a threesome scenario. But they seem to be comfortable with it. Why should anybody be judging their relationship that's not them? And um, if your mum finds out, it's 2022, darling. People are shagging left, right, and centre. It is still your mum, though. Well, yeah, don't shag your mum. We're not saying shag your mum. I'm just saying she doesn't want, necessarily want to know about it. Oh, right, yeah. Well, then, that. but but her daughter didn't say anything. It was the random girl who said it, who's been engaging in intercourse with yeah, her and her boyfriend. I guess, um, she couldn't control that. I guess you don't have to know what she knows. Ooh. Just don't address it. Just don't address it. Family secrets are what keep families together. Well, I don't know if that is true. Well, it is in your case. Why, Max? Mm. Anyway. Oh, just had an email in. Yay. Ugh. Sorry for the audio listeners. I'll just... Um, this is me typing on my um, calculator. Calculator? What's it called? It's like a keyboard. Keyboard. <laughs> Shit. What the hell? And this is the printer. This is the printer. Three, two, one. Now. Jesus Christ. What, what, does this happen every time? Oh, God. This just... This... <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. 
<coughs> wow, that's a long one. Right. Hi, Max and George. Hi. All right, love. <laughs> hey, love. Um, I've been in a relationship for about one year now, and I have discovered that in bed, my boyfriend moans his own name. Oh. So we would be having sex, and all I see, and all I hear is, "Oh, Chris, <laughs> please help me." Maybe that's a lot. Maybe got a speech impediment. He's trying to say Christ. Maybe. Oh, Chris! But even then, I wouldn't really want to hear Jesus Christ our Savior whilst I'm having sex with a man. Well, I don't think he's going Jesus Christ our Savior. Oh, More is like that a, not what speech Christ. impediment means? Oh, uh, golly! But even then, oh, I, I think that, Christ! Um, <laughs> I think this is an issue. Um, have you ever caught him touching himself to his own reflection? Why are you asking me like this? Came from me. Yes, I have, Max. Yeah. Um, Good. Um, that's all right then. That's normal. No, have you I, ever? <coughs> no, I was about to say something really weird. Then, have you ever? Oh, maybe this won't be in, but I'll ask it anyway. Have you ever tasted your own semen? No, Max. I me haven't. neither. No, but you have. Me neither. You have. No, though. I've not. Maybe you, you have, have no proof. Have you seen the video? No. So, what? <laughs> anyway, that's I absolutely think fucking foul. Anyway, I've not done that. What? Shut up. That is so I've weird. never done that. I've never done that. <laughs> what? So I've never old. done that. I've never done that. What the hell? But if someone had done that, <laughs> why is that so strange? Because it's yours. But it's not... I've never done that. <laughs> what the hell? Anyway, to help this person out, um, I would say... <laughs> what? I would say... What is going on here? Chris. Chris, darling. Why can't you look at me and want to have sex with me? Why do you want to have sex with yourself? Maybe uh, what? maybe it's a bit of encouragement. Like, oh, yes, Chris, go on, Chris. Yeah, I don't know. What, I, I'm not really sure the circumstance that you'd be saying. Your own name. It feels, it feels like, a, as you say, a sort of like, oh, well done, buddy. Keep it going. Yeah, like Chris. Well, or like, what a legend, Chris. He's yeah, getting this bird. But if they've been your girlfriend for a year and you're still giving yourself a pat on the back every yeah. time that you have sex with them, not to mention it's a verbal pat on the back yeah. in front of them whilst engaging in such acts. Yeah. Maybe this is a bit of a Tourette's sort of issue where they it can't... Situational Tourette's, where it comes out... You're just making up... No, I'm pretty sure that's disorders. the thing. Um, situational Tourette's where he just, in that moment feels compelled to Where say his it only tick is his own name and it only yeah. happens when he's muck on top yep mm, i don't know i mm, i think he is not. it is it a power thing like oh i am chris and here i am chris 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 yeah. chris chris <laughs> chris chris mistletoe oh, mistletoe and <laughs> what no um, that maybe it's all building up to when you do it on Christmas Day and he goes, Mus. Mus. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. That would be really good. But a l big amount of work for such a little payoff. Like, think Whoa, if they met in on, January. Let's... He's trying his best. <laughs> Imagine they met in January and for a whole year Chris. they'd be doing it Chris. just to make that joke. That's something that you'd do. Fucking worth it. It though. really That'd would be, be something that you would do. Maybe like Easter. Yeah. Oh, Easter's less Han. of a. Han. Hanukkah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. I like it. I was going to say, I was going to try Thanksgiving, but it just sounds like you're thank, thanking them every time. Yeah. Thanks. Might thanks. be grateful. <laughs> She's very grateful. <laughs> thank you for your service to the country. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite nice, actually. What would be the weirdest it? thing to say? Not necessarily holiday based. Oh, what if I experience? Let me think. I've definitely. Oh my god! I I had this person who was like, "Do you like like dirty talk?" And I was like, in the moment, I was like, "Yeah, I guess." But then they were like, "You fucking like disgusting little fuck." <laughs> You get bullied. And I was literally like, <laughs> thanks. Like, they were like, I remember they were literally like, yeah, you fucking dirty little pig fucking weirdo. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> like, 
have you been thinking this the whole time? Like, I'm a little pig. I don't want to be a pig. <laughs> I remember. Oh my god, I used to have. Upset. I used to speak. I used to speak to somebody who it was very obvious that they had this fantasy about like a an American high school bully situation. Yeah. And they were like, "Can you give me a wedgie?" And I was like, Wait, they, and then you had to go, "Hey, dickweed." And then no, like quite similarly though and i was like yeah oh like what like whilst we're kissing like i'll pull it a tiny bit and they were like no yeah. like i want you to fucking yank me up and give me a wedgie did you hit their tray of food out of the hand and flush their down the toilet at the same time as no well? but i'm pretty yeah. sure that they would have liked that and yeah. i remember in the moment being like oh this is quite intense really isn't it and they like asked me to like rip their underwear and everything like expensive Ooh. underwear like rip it to the point they've got such a severe wedgie and then they Ooh. tried to do it to me one time and I nearly, I got like this rash, like it hurt. And I was actually like, I don't ever want to do that again. Like uh, Max by Wedge D. Literally. <laughs> but some people, but then, again, you know, we're not kink shaming, but some people are into some certain things. And if you're not, like your boyfriend might be attracted by his own name. And if you're not into that, bring it up. Bring it up. I was not into Wedgieville. So I said, I'm not doing this no yeah. more. I was not into being called dirty little disgusting filth pig i said i've heard that in my entire life i don't need it right now so funny thinking about you just isn't it imagine me just there and then this person being like oh you dirty little fucking filthy disgusting folk <laughs> you just and i was like <laughs> what <laughs> like, where did that come from i was so offended i was like i'm not dirty <laughs> like, i was in such shock equally when i got wedgie done announced <laughs> So, yeah but like you can't judge people these people obviously they have it for a reason like they're into it and it it can be so upsetting like to watch somebody know that they've taken it too far and they've exposed a bit too yeah. much about themselves and you're not approving of it is such an well, awkward situation to be an in. Of podcast. yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it's such an awkward situation to be in so um approach it with kindness and say right chris yeah. come on darling so, so why are you saying your name chris say my name maybe your name's christine and she's been reading it all wrong. Maybe, Chris and Christine. Maybe he doesn't know her name. Oh. He's just filling, filling time. With his own name. Yeah. That would make sense. Or, it was, what are the other options? Chris, cro maybe Chris he's Dingle. Expect, maybe he's expecting you to say cross back. Yes. Chris, cross, Chris, cross. Maybe he's cross. playing a, a game of knots and crosses inside you. Oh, okay, that's... Uh, Have that's you heard that absolute thing absolute that's like, thing. spell your name on the penis? Spell your name on the so penis. Like, if you were well, a girl, that, uh, uh, your Christmas at your house is very different. <laughs> <laughs> In the tail on the donkey. Spell Max, your name on the penis. It's time for spell your name on the penis. <laughs> <laughs> no, coming. <laughs> Not literally. Oh god. Um, unless it's your dad. Anyway. Stop, honestly. So I think. No, no, no. So it's an actual thing, and it's like Megan the Stallion's like, when I ride the dick, I'ma spell my name. Eh. Uh, I didn't have to do all that. <laughs> Sorry, why are you quoting it like it's a dissertation? No, but it's like... Megan the Stallion et al. No, but like you get on the person <laughs> if you're the person with the penis inside you. And you like... So for example, my name's Max. I'd be like... For um, example, my name's Max. <laughs> a. X. Don't need to. But that seems like a lot. Like imagine if your name is... Angelica. Oh, bloody hell. That's, that's a long time. time. And also, is, is everybody name? getting feeling you out of this? dropping the whole gov on it, are you? Yeah, Angelica. No, like, are you going, like, full, like, you sort of... Oh, like, first and mid, second name. Yeah, well, that's... Maybe middle as well. I mean, it'd just take quite a while, wouldn't it? So I think, um, yeah, maybe instead of saying his name, he could spell his name in you. No. Ooh. Let's just move on. In conclusion, <laughs> bring it up. You should never have to do something that you're not comfortable with um sexually or otherwise so in that case i'm fucking leaving that's funny that's really funny hey guys leave. i didn't leave it was a joke it was a big old prank it was a prank uh, but no, for once i actually agree with max what that i should leave um that oh. and the um you shouldn't have to do anything you don't like yeah or listen to anything you don't like in bedroom oh uh, what was that did uh, you hear that noise yeah Oh, that sounded like a bit of a somebody pulling a sword out of a sheath. Did um, it not? <laughs> maybe that was Chris stopping. Ah, oh, right. Anyway, yeah, um, we're in agreement on this one. Agreement. So, um, oh, has been what is that? George, the the phone's ringing. Get it. Oh, it's my go actually. 
Now put it back in. Hi guys. <laughs> so I was wondering if you could help me. Oh. Basically, after work last week, um, I went home with my boss and fucked him, oh. which is like great achievement for me. Yeah. But I can't remember how I managed to get him to sleep with me because oh. I'd really like it to happen again. So any advice on that would be great. Thanks, guys. Well, last week we had a question from somebody who said they don't that want, they their boss wanted their to. boss wanted to and they turned so maybe, maybe this is a progression maybe it's the same person if it Ooh. is let us know darling um and if so well done you've done it Good but job. if you don't remember have you ever had a situation <clears> where <throat> i mean this could be comparable to like you're going on a date with someone and you're going out for drinks and you think everything's like going well but then you wake up the next morning and it was your dad in a wig the whole time where Oh, that's just the story you told me. Why? Why? Um, no, why? Anyway, is just, just no, 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 um, <laughs> no, no, no. But like, and you just don't feel the same vibe, and you're like, "What was I feeling the night before? How did this come yeah. about?" I mean, obviously, I was drunk, but but she says yeah. she wants to. She wants to do it again. Yeah, but she doesn't remember how she went about doing it. Well, if you don't remember, you were clearly in flow state, and you just need to get back into that. Just, just. Get in the zone, mm. and then get in his zone. Oh, way up. Yeah, maybe put yourself in the same position that you were in. Put yourself in your own shoes. You Isn't did great like last time, love. <laughs> I'm sure you'd be able to smash it again. Yeah, maybe. There's this thing that my teachers used to tell me about when I would do exams, that whilst you're revising one thing, you constantly have the same type of sweep so that it triggers your memory. And then when you need to go on to another thing, you have a different one. And then in the exam. So, for example, if you're doing, like, times tables... Then you'd have blueberry yeah. sweet. And then you're in the exam, you'd have a blueberry sweet and it'd make you trigger I'm your memory. I'm very intrigued where you're going with this. Maybe do the same thing that you did last night. Oh. If you were going munching down a Christmas dinner, order a Christmas dinner and it might Every come back to you. Every time before you see him, have just... a full belly of turkey. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I guess, turkey I, queen. I guess that's something. But I, I'd say you, you smashed it the first time round. Just... Literally. Smashed him the first time round. Yeah. Just, just you let your just intrusive thoughts run through. Yes. You 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 do you, sis, is the way that. What but I'd if say. I let my intrusive thoughts run through, then I'd have a podcast that hit number one. What the hell was that? What it was the intrusive thought. If it it was, was, I'm not saying it was good. That was disgusting. But it I happened. Didn't like that at all. So maybe you too could have a podcast that hit number one, or you could shag your boss again. One of the two equally good, yeah, and well respected. So I'm very confused how you managed to. Wag anyway, the I just wanted to brag. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> maybe just be yourself, darling. Yeah. Oh, my advice is always be yourself, unless you're a twat. If you're a twat, then don't be yourself. Pretend to be somebody else. This is where Max pretends to be. Yep, I'm completely different in real life. I know. Competent human. Absolutely. Pretend to be somebody else. Um. Don't let them know your true identity. Maybe oh, get a Batman. fake passport. Do do? She, it's her boss. True. Pretty sure her boss knows who she is. Mm, might have been committing identity fraud from the start. If so, How carry is that on. A, a place that you've Dye taken this story to? What? Get plastic She's surgery. She's not on the run. Why not? Because she wants to do it again. What are you but talking about? What? Hmm... I think that... I think you've gone mental, mate. Yeah. Maybe. What are you actually talking about right now? Go on the run, change your name, move to a different country, get plastic surgery so that you don't look the same, dye your hair, cut your hair, and then re-meet him unannounced at a different spot, introduce yourself as Catherine of Aragon. He'll say, what a coincidence, that used to be one of Henry VIII's wives, who I'm pretty sure got murdered. And then say, oh, I know, I get that all the time. But do you want to have sex with me? Done it again. He won't think that it's weird and that you're the same person. And you can continue to do this until the day that you die. There's multiple people. You could be called Anne of Cleves next time. Go down every single one of them and they've always got a conversation starter. And that way, every time he's going to be like, oh my God, I keep meeting people that have the same name as Henry VIII's ex-wives. This is such a coincidence. What, but that, I will what shag are you, you right talking now. about? I'm trying to give advice. <laughs> <laughs> he's 
So you're trying to give advice. You think that she should go all Jason Bourne on this, change her identity to every single one of Henry VIII's wives. That's your solution to her wanting to sleep with her boss again. Yeah. That seems to make complete sense to me. It makes no sense to nobody. What? And I guarantee it makes no sense to you. That's not true. Um, I'd say, love, um, just channel your inner Welshman, woman. <laughs> Oh. And get that Welshman. Unless you... He's Is not Welsh. Is she Welsh? Could you she not was tell? not Welsh. I mean, apart from that, she was. She definitely wasn't Welsh. She just was Welsh. She was not Welsh. She Maybe was it was Welsh. Bambino Becky. Who's Bambino Becky's boss? You Me. guys at home, because you watch her videos. <laughs> yeah, so she's sh trying to shag every single one of her followers. Um, I mean, we've all been there. That won't take long. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Becky. That, oh, that, I thought that you was... were on about me then. I was like, oh, cheers. Oh, either or. Oh, right, okay then. Um, so, yeah, I think that was quite good advice, really. Well, the bit before the random rant about Henry VIII's wives, yeah. Who did that? Have we got more, another little... No, I think that's everything. Is that everything? Yeah. Well, look at us. We've just given such good advice. I'm so impressed by us, genuinely. I am far from impressed. What? I'm surprised. Yeah. But I shouldn't be, because I know you. Mm. I think that that last point was really good, actually. And I think I might incorporate it into my everyday life. You're just going to spend the days, the rest of the remaining days of your life... Pretending to be one of Henry VIII's six wives. It rhymes. And that is the useless hotline. <laughs> so, but this mess. week... <laughs> I've had a great time. I hope that you've had a great time. We're both extremely ill. So if it has been a bit weird, shut the fuck up and get over it, to be honest with you. And if you think that George has been interrupting me the entire time, comment it down below. Go to all of his social media. Comment it there. And let your voice be heard because nobody should be suppressed in the way that I have been um, throughout the last six, five Sorry, however many if, episodes if of this podcast. What you, what's come out of your mouth is you being suppressed. It is. Then Actually, I'm doing the whole world a favour here because yeah. who wants to let you run free? Your dad. I just thought I'd finish it on a joke even though it wasn't really that relevant and what not funny, but um, I enjoyed it. If you would like to send in a query to the Useless Hotline, you can send a written one to the Useless Hotline Podcast at gmail.com or a voice note that will be played live through our working telephone here to our Instagram at the Useless Hotline Pod. Agree. If you're watching on YouTube, <laughs> uh, subscribe, give us a like if you're listening, give us a five star rating and a review, give us a follow, download mm. us, do all of the above. Yeah. Let us know how we get on. Um, and we'll be here, unfortunately, next week. Where Every Max Sunday. will just give me an onslaught of just accusations that are far from the truth. Yeah. Or revealing truths. And until next time, if you want to date someone, Anne of Cleves is the way to go, personally. She's definitely the fittest one. And stay useless, baby. See you next Jesus week. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wait, should we say Happy New Year? Happy New Year. Oh, wait, it's not the New Year. It's Christmas Day. Happy Christmas. <laughs> Happy Bye. Christmas. Hope you had a good Christmas. Right, fuck off. Leave us alone now. Jesus Christ. Right, George, is your dad coming over? Fuck off. I'm hard.